Mimi siyo chairman lakini I'm the ranking member in the committee of sports, culture and heritage in parliament. Uh, we had a meeting in Mombasa with the entire committee. Our chair is uh, Dan Wanyama from this region and they sent me to represent the entire committee. First and foremost I want to say on behalf of the culture, sports and heritage committee in the National Assembly of Kenya, welcome all the kings from all the parts of the world to Nairobi, to Kisumu and finally to Mumias. I want to say thank you very much King Namongo for remaining firm. There are many of us who cannot sustain the pleasure or pressure of leadership for 50 years and I can see you are growing stronger, stronger and stronger. Thank you very much the, uh, the political class party leader Mweshimiwa Kalonzo Musioka, Mweshimiwa Deputy Party Leader Oparanya, my brother Wairia, my brother Eugene, my big brother Otoma, Governor. I want to say this in front of this congregation. On behalf of the Committee of National Assembly of Sports, Heritage and Culture, we are steadfast and very clear on what we need to achieve towards culture, not only in Kenya, but in Africa. As we speak right now, we are embarked on a vigorous exercise to make sure that we ratify all UNESCO conventions, starting with the UNESCO Convention of 1954, the UNESCO Con Convention of 2001, and the protocols which we are done in the year 1999. I want to promise you the king, once we ratify that, you don't need to beg anymore. You will be part and parcel of the laws of Kenya. And that's how the easiest way to be. And you will be recognized as a king of Mumia, king of Nambongo, king within Africa. Because, I want to say this without any doubt. Africa culture is a gift from God. And it's our business to protect that culture without fear of contradiction from anybody. We as members of parliament will remain firm to protect the culture within this country. And I want to thank my party leader, Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. Just the other day, we visited the great council of elders of the Kikuyu nation. And I can see the trade has started. You are now at Luya nation. We want to urge you with your entire team. Make sure you visit all the kingdoms, all the kings, all the culture of, uh, cultural elders in Kenya to unite this nation, to make sure that we move from the yoke of corruption being guided by principle of honesty, trust, and moving forward. Kwa sababu mini mwanasiasa siwezi toka hapa kusema kitu. Nataka ni seme hivi. Nyinyi watu wa western, nataka ni wakikishia ya kwamba. Mambo imekuwa ngumu, lakini nikiwa katika kacharo eventi hapa mumia. Hapa nimekaa naona raisi mtajariwa 2027. Naona makamu wake, naona prime minister wake, kutoka hii meza nimesimama. Nyinyi munasema haji watu wa western? Hapo ni wapi? Kwa hivyo lazima tusimame imara. Ya pili, I want to ask the sitting government. The people of Western depend on agriculture more than anybody else in Kenya. We cannot afford to give farmers in Kenya fake fertilizers and we continue to see the cabinet secretary for agriculture sitting in office lying to Kenyans. Mwashimiwa Lindula, I want to tell you, we are bringing a motion to the House of National Assembly to impeach you for bringing fake fertilizers to Kenyans. And I want to tell Ms. Honorable Ruto, kama umeshindwa na kazi ya kufukuza awa kora kwa kazi, atia bunge tukufukuzie, tukuzaizishe kazi, ili maisha wa Kenya yendele mbele. Lamwisho, lamwisho, is it to the traditional leaders? I know you try to avoid politics, you try to avoid 
any kind of foundation. But when the country is suffering, the people you are leading are traditional leaders, they are also suffering. We want to hear your voice, where the voice of reason is required in Kenya, in Uganda, in Burundi, in Nigeria, and all part of this African continent. I want to conclude and say this. Africa is our business. Africa is our gift. Africa will not be tuned by anybody. God bless you. Asante, tunendelea kumalizia. Namuita aliekua 